welcome back to our journey across New Zealand. In the last episode, we were exploring a part of the North Island, but after a wild series of car rides and buses, we've officially landed ourselves here in Lake Tekapo, located in the South Island. Originating from melted glaciers, this lake is said to be among the most beautiful, bluest natural bodies of water in the entire world. With only one full day here, there was no time to waste. Let's go. All right, well, here we are. We just made it to the beautiful Lake Tepico behind me. It's probably one of the bluest lakes I've ever seen in my life. And surrounding it is all these amazing mountains. You can even see some snow in the distance and it's the middle of summer, which is still crazy. But we're actually gonna go hike up one of these mountains. I think it's one of these over here called like Mount John. Uh, there's supposed to be some amazing breathtaking views from the top. So we're gonna go try that. Made it to the first stop. I have no idea how a dog made it up here. I'm struggling. <laughs> All right, I just made a quick stop. Hopefully we're close, I have really no idea, but I really, when I looked at this mountain from the bottom, I anticipated it being a lot easier and a lot shorter, but I'm dying. And of course I pick like the worst day possible to wear pants. I even had a sweatshirt on earlier because I looked at the weather and it said it was gonna be in like the 50s and 60s. And I thought hiking up a mountain, it'd be cold, but nope, it's hot as hell out here. As you can see, I think that's the top over there. The views are already insane. You can see snow in the distance over there on some of the mountains. And it just feels like heaven out here. Almost there. Wow. That's like all I gotta say. This is insane. This is one of the most beautiful hikes I've ever done. You can see all the snow-capped mountains in the distance and another few beautiful lakes down there. And man, once we got to the top, the weather feels so much better, especially with this breeze. This place is unbelievable. Hopefully y'all can hear me with this insane wind, but that's actually the town down there that we hiked up from. Well, probably eating at one of the coolest cafes in the entire country now. The views are insane. Now on the way back down the mountain. All right, we're making our way down the mountain and it's funny, I kind of find that going down is actually a lot harder than going up. It's just painful on the knees. Started getting a little killy out here, so I had to throw on the sweatshirt. But yeah, these views are crazy. Uh, we're gonna head back here in a little bit, and apparently this whole area is part of something called the Dark Sky Project. So what that means is like, there's zero light pollution. So at night, you can see like all the stars. It's supposed to be incredible. So we're gonna come back here a little later tonight. In the meantime, we're gonna go grill up some burgers.
Whew. Well, that was one needed meal. I think we did pretty good on those burgers. So we're now continuing our journey over this bridge and we're gonna go check out one of Lake Tepico's most famous buildings, the Church of the Good Shepherd. so far competing with a lot of really dangerous really skilled people out here but mark my words this will be the tallest rock tower in all of Lake Tepico Tecapo Tecapo yes all of Lake Tecapo I'm gonna keep working come on yeah on second thought rock towers are dumb let's go look at the church well, unfortunately, looks like we just missed the time. It's like 8.30 right now and it closed at eight. So we can't go through the gate, but still got a beautiful view of it. All right, well, this is kind of one of the hardest parts now is actually waiting for it to get dark because the sun sets so late here. It's like almost 9.30 and it's still light out. But hopefully in a little bit, it'll get really dark and that sky will open up and we'll get some amazing views of the stars. Walking through this beautiful little garden right now and that's probably like the 20th bunny we've seen. They're everywhere, all over this place. All right, well, little update. We're kind of getting there. It's like 10 p.m. now and the sun is still visible, so... <laughs> I think it's gonna be a while, but hopefully by like 11 or midnight, it's completely dark. It should be by midnight, definitely. But uh, I'm getting really excited. You can already kind of see some stars and planets popping up, but I think it's just gonna be out of this world when it gets totally dark. Still waiting. safe to say that was the most beautiful night sky I've ever seen in my entire life especially when you get down by the lake with like no light at all you can basically see like the entire galaxy and there was actually a guy who we met who was putting on like kind of an astronomy show and telling us about different things we were looking at in the sky and he actually said that you can see the entire belt of the Milky Way which I'll pop up some pics right here. Unfortunately, video could not really get it done. So I had to go to pictures on like night mode for 10 seconds and stuff. That was the only way to try to show it, but really the pictures don't do it justice at all. You really have to be here to experience this. And believe it or not, I actually ended up counting seven shooting stars just while I was laying there for a little under an hour. Seven shooting stars all up in the sky right above me. All right, but anyway, I'm gonna head in. It's like midnight now and I am freezing. The temperature drops so low here at night, it's crazy. With only having one full day to spend in this beautiful area, I feel like we got to see quite a bit. From its snow-capped mountains, insane blue waters, and unreal night skies, Tekapo is truly a sight to behold and possibly one you wanna add to your bucket list. So stay tuned for next time as we continue exploring New Zealand, heading to the tallest mountain in the entire country. And just getting there was a journey of its own. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.